Breaking news. The Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation sanctions AIT, Channels Television, and Arise TV over lucky shootings. The National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, has sanctioned three major broadcast stations over their alleged roles in escalation of violence across the nation. The regulators were said to have fined Arise TV, African Independent Television AIT, and Channels Television between 2 million and 3 million naira each. The stations were accused of airing unverified images of the alleged shooting. The protest, which began on a peaceful note, has since gone violent with many states experiencing wanton destructions and looting of public and private properties. Well, it is what it is, guys. What do you think, or why do you think that these uh, stations were being sanctioned? This is a ploy by the government to uh, change the narrative, hide the truth, you know, and um, turn everything upside down. If you recall, when the governor of Lagos State spoke, he spoke saying that there was no casualty, but it is clear and it is glaring to all that there, there were casualties as it were. Also, just this morning, we woke up to the news that the former governor, state, uh, uh, former governor of Lagos State, Abachide Rajesh uh, Fashola, you know, discovered or picked up a camera, a hidden camera at the crime scene. And this is the crime scene that has been swept by Loma agencies and all the youths that have been cleaned up. Even days, not just that day, day before, days before they visited the crime scene. Nobody saw the camera. So how come it was Fashola that had the eagle eye that saw or located the camera? It is sad and unfortunate. The government is trying really hard to change its narrative because they know that the international community, you know, is actually watching and they know that the truth is out there. Aside that, a lot of other people have clips and video uh, clips of what is happening. Journalists, don't forget that journalists were on ground to cover the event as well. So how come? They are trying to change the story or change the narrative. How come they are trying to uh, turn everything upside down? How come are they trying to change the truth and change it into something else? Well, it is what it is. This is Nigeria, and this is what the government is trying to do. Nobody can t change this uh, narrative as it were. It was genocide that was committed, and that is what it is, and that is what people will take home. Take it or leave it. They cannot hide it forever. Well, it is what it is. Let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying. God's love says, what a country. God save us from these enemies of the truth in Jesus' name. Chidi Uche Emmanuel says, you see these evil politicians, they still won't change. What shameless NTA cannot do, other independent stations air live incident. You are now finding them. This is the more reason why there will still be more protests. But this time, well, this time around, it will be more peaceful. These men are so impossible. Exactly. We are talking about government here. The government is so corrupt, and they will continue to be corrupt. Christopher Godwin says, now wow, for airing a vital incident like that, the NBC is a corrupt and biased entity. Of course, anybody that doesn't know that, should know it. It is the government that we are talking about. Fred Joe says, nonsense. Someone who is being drowned always looks for what he or she can hold on to. Well, it is what it is. Another person says, stupid state nation. Tinubuna idiot, him and a cow. Well, these people want to silence the media in the democratic government. 
may God save Nigeria. They want to, but they cannot. That is just the truth. They cannot silence the media. The media will continue to do its job. Regardless of whose ox is God. Every attempt to silence them will not uh, be taken, will not be allowed. That is just the truth of the matter. It is what it is. Buhari and APC are only digging their graves deeper and deeper. Their days are already numbered. Exactly my thoughts. And uh, I hope that, you know, this happens sooner and they will be buried as it were. It is what it is. They cannot continue to uh, play on the intelligence of people. There are live videos, there are evidences, or there are gun shells, or bullet shells, as it were, that were seen. You know. So how come? Why did the government order a cleanup of this crime scene without investigation? It remains to be seen, guys. Joseph, Joseph says, God will judge all our leaders. Exactly. They are useless people. Another one says, why not sanction BBC, Al Jazeera, and other foreign nations too? G George Robert says, what kind of country are we in self? So the information would be kept from the public. Exactly that is their plan, and that is what they intend to do. The truth, they want to hide the truth. They don't want the truth to come out. Well, ICC might soon invite NBC for this. Well, hopefully, it is what it is. Another person says, this is the most stupid and foolish thought of 2020. So that was why NTA were showing fish farming. Ah, God, take us to 2023 faster. It is here already 2023 will be here before you know it that is just it other person says airing unverified information but they showed it live you can't cover your atrocities evil government says oyewole rufus answers must continue till our demands are met another person says they are not supposed to report all the details really this is good decision. They add on verified video, especially AIT. Any video, true or fake, AIT will air it. Really? It is what it is. I think uh, journalism is being attacked so far. It is what it is. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Personally, I think they have just beaten more that they can chew. Well, they can buy, they can you know sanction the uh tv registrations but can they sanction the online media can they sanction uh instagram twitter um youtube facebook where other social media platforms where other people you know who were at the crime scene or who were at the scene of the incident actually took pictures took videos and shared it online it is not it is not possible i don't know why this government loves to shoot themselves on the foot you know it is sad and unfortunate one would imagine that these people should uh, know better or should actually understand better but they have failed to uh, prove that they know better it is sad and unfortunate I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong but however guys what are your thoughts well it is what it is drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.